Hi guys, it is Safiri Lovery with Safiri is by Design. Here going to make a birthday gift for my boss. My boss is from China, so I wanted to pick a theme and I chose the panda bear and I chose that for two reasons. One, because this bear is also native to China. And the second reason was a broken keychain that I found just kind of laying around in my craft room. So here is a close up of that broken keychain. You can see that's broken off there at the top by his head. So I'm gonna use this as the inspiration for the basket. And I'll just let you take a look over the items that are on the table. It's pretty much gonna be basically office supplies and different things like that for her to use at her desk. I have a few snacks that were related. I found most of the items at the Dollar Tree. A few items coming from Amazon, a few from Walgreens, and a few from Dollar General. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take my gift basket, which is nothing but a flower pot that I picked up from the at-home store. I believe it was $4.99. And I'm just going to take some black electrical tape and just run a strip around the middle of this. So just wanting this basket to be very much a good mix of black and white. So I have this black pom-pom that I'm going to attach to the front of it also just as a decoration piece. Taking my little panda bear and attaching him to this pom-pom. I'm going to press him down. I think that's cute enough and I love that black, black popping on the white and then popping again. So before I start filling in the basket, I do have some decoration that I'd like to add to some of the products that I'm going to put into the basket. So for instance, I have this composition notebook. She absolutely loves to write in these. And so I'm just going to dress it up just a little bit with this bedazzled panda. I'm going to attach him with some spray adhesive and put him on there. I think he turned out cute. If you watch my videos, you know that I do like to recycle. So I'm just taking this edge um, gel container that I cleaned out really, really well. I'm going to put some Snickers in there, a little bite-sized Snickers. She loves those. And I found this little panda tattoo. I'm hoping it will attach to this plastic, and I'm going to see here in just a few minutes. Well, look at that walking panda. He definitely stuck onto this container. So I was looking at my little panda bear on the front of the basket. Notice that it has that hole in the forehead where that keychain was. So I think I'm just going to take a little tiny bow and make this into a panda girl and attach that to cover that hole. And there's our cute little panda girl with her bow. So next I'm going to take this DAC sticker off, or Murphy sticker off, Murray's. And it comes off relatively easily, no residue. And I think the little panda bear turned out really cute on the front of it. And so now I'm just going to take and fill it up with some Snickers candy. This is a cute little thing to put on top of your desk. So just a few more things that I want to embellish here before I start filling in the basket. So I found these cute little little girl barrettes. Um, it's like decoration on a scrunchie. So I'm going to just take and cut this fabric off here and just use the face of the panda to decorate some of my items. So I've got a little bit of hot glue on the back of my little panda face and I'm going to attach him to the ribbon. This is going to be the little bow that I'm going to put on top of the gift basket after I wrap it up. I'm going to do the same thing to this little Dollar Tree tech case that I bought. I'm just going to take a little panda face and embellish it a little bit. So next I'm going to go ahead and start prepping my items to go into the basket. I found these panda snacks at the Dollar Tree. How appropriate are these? They have different flavors. They have a strawberry, chocolate, and caramel. So I'm just going to put this down in this little Dollar Tree bucket that I found over in the party supply section. It has a little panda on it. So I've got all three of the little panda snacks in the bucket. And I also found this little Dollar Tree toy here and it looks it's sort of giving raccoon vibes but I'm gonna say it's a panda so I couldn't get the panda to go down in there with the in the bucket with those snacks so I just placed him in this little candle holder that I picked up as well I found this cup at Ollie's years ago so I'm just now using it and I put a little bow on the side of it and I think what I'm gonna put in here are her pins so I'm gonna stuff those down in there I think that looks cute and coordinated enough. I also found this little desk case at the Dollar Tree as well, so I think I'm gonna put some more composition notebooks in it, as well as these cute little panda sticky notes or post-it notes, and put those in there. So I'm just gonna take some brown decorative thread, well, that's a 
brown stuffing actually. I'm just going to pack it down inside of here. Next, I'm going to take some black decorative shred and put in the basket here. So I'm going to go ahead and put my composition notebook in the back because it's the tallest item. And I do want that beautiful panda bear to show there at the top. Next, I think I'm going to put in my panda snacks. So my basket is a little crowded, which I knew it would be. But I'm plugging along here to make everything fit. Here is how I am looking, and I'm just going to take some tape and make sure this little tech case doesn't fall. So I'm just going to put a little tape on the back of it, try to position it into place. I found some polka dot cello bags over at the Michael store. So I'm just going to take this bag and wrap it around my basket as tight as I can get it. Final look at the wrap basket. I think it turned out cute enough. Lots and lots of black and white. I like the way it turned out. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.